Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flights in 2020. I am here in Sedona to try out the Sedona Cinematic Package by GeoRender. It is a freeware package that is available on flightsim.to and it's about a gigabyte. This is not the scenery from the package. This is just the stock scenery around Sedona, which is one of the highlighted areas, especially for the airport. And it's where the training missions occur. So I'm wondering whether the freeware package by GeoRender is going to improve it very much. There's also another freeware package by GeoRender for Arches National Park. And we'll take a look at how that looks in stock as well before adding the package. But I just wanted to take a look at the stock scenery before adding the new stuff in uh, to see what the changes will be and whether they're worth it. After all, uh, if we're going to take uh, hard drive space, it's actually 1.7 gig for the Sedona one. And uh, Arches National Park is somewhat larger. So, yep, definitely worth comparing to make sure that the scenery isn't unnecessary. I trust that it is. But we'll see. Uh, sometimes, you know, looks are dependent on taste, personal taste. And so what we have here is we see, you know, uh, characteristically reddish landscape. There's good detail on the rocks here in stock. So maybe, but at the top here, these uh, pinnacles on top of this could do with some work, I suppose. Yeah. But overall, again, uh, it is a remarkable landscape as it is. I have not personally been to Sedona, so I don't know exactly how good it ought to look. But this is a reasonably scenic place to fly already. So I think I have given a good indication of the scope of this. Okay, so we are taking off from Sedona again. Uh, I'm still very wiggly with this plane, so you'll have to forgive me for cutting out that part. Uh, still gotta practice taking off with this, frankly speaking. But, well, uh, that looks different, that's for sure. Lots of trees now here too. Uh, let's take a closer look at what we've got here. Now, in the mod description, it said that uh, some of the scenery things were not landable. And it is sort of messy around here. Uh, we can see their attempt to use photogrammetry for the area has certainly caused artifacts there. And it's helped this area here. Obviously, this looks much better. But... I feel like maybe if they could exclude some of the lower areas, there is a terrain matching problem, but in this case, maybe like just have these blocks. There's a missing area right there. And it's mentioned in the scenery description that there were missing pieces. So that's, I, I, I'm probably gonna leave this out until that sort of thing gets fixed because it just takes the immersion out of it. Uh, I mean, I like the effect. Obviously, this is much better in terms of the higher areas, making it look like how it's supposed to. I mean, you can see that there's been an improvement to the area, but then there are patches where it's not quite right, like down here. And that is the trouble with photo scenery a lot of the time because the passes miss stuff, it's bad conditions, and the quality is sort of mixed. Yeah. You have to sort of adjust for that. Maybe a little bit choppier than usual. I mean, this bit I like. seems to be uh, seamless, no weird patches here. I don't know to what extent you can just exclude certain parts of it. Or 
or maybe I could, because uh, this Sedona scenery comes in different folders. There's a series of, it's actually seven different folders. So I don't know if some of those folders are some parts and other folders are other parts of this. Maybe I could just delete a folder and uh, get rid of the area I don't want. I doubt it's that simple though. But maybe. I mean this this area right here I like very much and this I'd like to keep. I mean this part is all right. I don't I don't think this part has been touched very much. The airport area hasn't been touched very much either, I don't think. So again, uh, this is now the Sedona scenery by GeoRender and we can see the improvements but there are just some iffy spots mod description also says that this is not the final version and they're waiting on a better SDK or ground blending so yeah mainly uh, if we go southeast from the airport this area is the sort of problematic area right here. I saw, oh, well, I guess I wanted to visit that rock formation over there. Northwest. Maybe I could just remember not to go over to where that square is. The rest is fine. As long as I don't see that little square there. <laughs> uh. I mean, I had the similar experience with X-Plane 11 using Ortho 4 XP, trying to bring in the photo scenery, and there'll be just one little problematic block here and there. Well, this this looks pretty nice. I I might keep it. I might keep it despite the flaws. Mini plateau over here. And then that one over there. Yep, okay, so this is Sedona with the Geo Render mod. I think I've uh, gotten a look at what I wanted to look at. Uh, next up, uh, from a distance, it sort of glints a little bit more, the areas that are covered, I think. The mod description says that uh, for blending. It recommends one or two centimeters of snow. That might have been just for winter season, I don't know, but maybe that helps with this glinting. Okay, for Arches National Park, we're taking off at KCNY, and we are supposed to head according to the directions indicated in the mod, because there's no uh, listed feature on the map for Arches National Park. It said south southeast and to follow highway 191. So okay. Well there's a highway here. Uh, it said more east than south southeast. Well, it's the only highway that's indicated on the VFR map, so I suppose that's let me try and uh, see a map of Archer's Na Arch Arches National Park here. And but yeah, it doesn't look like the photo scenery did a particularly good job around here. This is pretty clearly a cloud baked into the terrain unless there's something else going on. Because um, the road stops. Yeah, I mean, there's some missing photo scenery textures here. pretty stark. I mean, I haven't seen this in flights in 2020 so far. Uh, such a blatantly missing area. The cars are fine, though. They, they're just going right through it. But I'm surprised. I thought the roadways would at least render above this. Huh. That's curious. This is weird. Uh, there's a little photo scene green area with some roadways there, but it doesn't blend in with the stuff right next to it. Some pretty serious discontinuities around here. That cliff edge is nice, though. Uh, definitely some clouds happened here. 
I'm headed towards Moab, which is the, at the southern end of Arches National Park, and then we'll head up from there along one of the smaller roadways that cuts through the park. Arches National Park Visitor Center should be here-ish. And that's the route of the road that we will follow. This seems like a much more complicated sort of scenery situation. We can see uh, more cliffs and such like that. Okay, I think uh, to our right here, that's the visitor center. That little building there. And then this switchback road is the entry into Arches National Park. If those stones sticking out are supposed to be like, say, arches or something impressive, we could do with some help here as far as freeware scenery is concerned to make things look a little bit more correct because those do not look special. They look rough. Yeah, I think mainly I think I understand. Those, those are probably something a little bit more substantial than what they look like here. And for the rest of the terrain, we'll see what happens. I don't see any prominent features right now. Well, flying out of KCNY again, and we can sort of see by the glinty landscape over there that that's probably covered by the by the mod for Arches National Park. So it's got a different reflectivity than the rest of the landscape. I swear the, the landscape overall looks even worse than it did the first flight out. Uh, this area was problematic to begin with. Uh, again, we are approaching that white area where a cloud existed and the road has gotten completely eliminated. So I sort of wish this bit was fixed by something. but. Anyway, you can't have it all. Well, we see that uh, there's improvements over here, and a stretch of improvements there, and then more over there. Alright, we're sort of approaching the entrance that we went along last time. Okay, so here we are along the switchback road up into Arches National Park and the rocks certainly look better as one would expect I'm keeping an eye out for some scenery issues we see a suspicious per uh, pinkish area right there that's probably a bit of an issue but this part is alright much better than stock, obviously. The pinkish stuff, again, it's just photo scenery weirdness. All the pins on the photo scenery source, there's no way of avoiding that necessarily. But these blocks look good. Don't know if anything can be done about those little flaws at this point. I guess it is down to having an SDK, a software development kit that works a little bit better. I have to say I did sort of try and take a look at the existing software development kit early on. Uh, to see about modding planes and all. I had made or tried to make a plane for X-Plane 11 before and that was reasonably easy. Uh, the Flight Sim 2020 system is rather opaque. It is not it, it is definitely not as easy. So there is that. 
Uh, th there seems to be something over here. Maybe that's just something that hasn't loaded in yet. Let me just quickly take a look there. Because the mod is fairly big, I think it's uh, unzipped 2.7 gig, actually. Sometimes things don't load properly, but no, these look like uh, permanent flaws here. So that's a little bit sad. I think there's more stuff over here, so... Uh, this is still fancy. Sometimes I can't exactly tell whether it's fancy stock or fancy modded. But pretty sure this area over here is modded. Here I can sort of see why an uh, inch or two of snow, uh, which I think you can add in the menu these days, I haven't tried it out myself, uh, might help with the blending here. It's sort of a little bit lighter. So this is good. It's definitely an improvement, of course. And I'm just hunting for any issues that might be around. Some of the issues might be stock given the cloud baked textures we had before. I think we've got some of that cloud bakiness over here, and that's part of the default scenery there, I'm sure, because the landscape mesh resolution is lower than all the modded stuff. This is very detailed mesh here that comes with the mod. And then we get over in the stock stuff here and it too has flaws like the clouds and the just the mesh is obviously not as good. But given that the area that the mod already covers takes 2.7 gigabytes, it would take a whole lot more to cover this area, which it looks finicky and it probably is very sophisticated. But this has not been very well done by the game itself. A canyon. Canyons are tough. Over, over there, they seem to have done a little bit better of a job. I don't know if that's the modded stuff. I don't think that's part of the mod. Let's go over and take a look. Let's see where we are. That's probably a little bit far. I think that's beyond Arches National Park, so that might be just the stock scenery being good occasionally. Well, uh, oh, there's a sort of a scenery texture seam and purpleness here. So, this might be part of the mod. Yeah, I mean, this looks like the kind of quality that the mod brings. They didn't have uh, Arches National Park as a point of interest, so I don't think they have photogrammetry here, otherwise they'd make it a point of interest. If, they, uh, if the stock game had photogrammetry here, um, then it might have this kind of quality. Sedona area, they only considered the airport to be a point of interest, so they didn't actually do the surrounding area very much. But yeah, so that's the Arches National Park scenery, and you can decide for yourself whether you think it's worth the download and hard drive space. This is by GeoRender. I'll put the links in the video description for the Sedona and Arches cinematic scenery, and well, it's certainly cinematic. I mean, Especially with this biplane, you could sort of... It has a very Indiana Jones sort of feel, especially Arches National Park, so... Might be fun flying around like that in... But with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.